Welcome, Hordlings, to another Ron October 2022 event. We're bringing back a point and click adventure game that we did a while back. This is the follow up. It's Dark Side Detective A Fumble in the Dark. Oh, yeah. We have another eight cases and a ninth one coming soon. As you can see, it's not yet released, but hopefully it will be sometime during this month so we can get that done as well. But anyways, let's get started with case number one, Missing Presumed Dark Side. Okay, summary, I gotta, I gotta find Dooley. Missy presumed dark side. Previously on the dark side detective been one year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Detective McQueen. Dooley! Dooley! I have an idea where he's ended up. Oh, shit! It's not good! It's not good at all! So I've been chasing up on old leads. The portal here is still locked down. Dooley! Where are you? And started chasing new leads too. Have you seen this man? Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke. There, Dooley. I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've taken some time off to search on my own. So I'm asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend. Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard. Maybe there's an odd energy in your workplace, or perhaps. Food has been going missing from your fridge. Anything at all, just reach out to me via the station. Please, I need your help. Twin Lakes. That's some heartfelt pleading. And now on TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. Get off the stage. And now on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, a squirrel who's just nuts about numbers. How was it? It went well. Come on, let's go. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some really sad music over that piece. Pull on the heartstrings. You'll have cranks calling you about all sorts of weird shit in no time. That's very much a mixed blessing. All right, everyone, welcome back. Here we go. Case number one. Let's do this, ho. Poor wee guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. He wants a fucking nut. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that, two? So do I just... Please! What? What am I doing here? Looking pretty with pixelated titty bubbles. You're on the Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes premiere and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. <laughs> Dyke, what? You brought your mathematical squirrel to us to highlight its numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I bet I met this squirrel through the classified ads. 
I, I thought he was a person. The squirrel glares. Equipment storage only. Please stop leaving stray animals in here. It's pissing me off. We couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better with or without a bush. Well, at least there's not two ferns. Because then Galif Kanatkis might show the fuck up. Alright. Resume. Exit case. No, we don't want to do that. We'll go ahead and do a, a save. You can't fire me! I kind of have. If you were such a good psychic, you'd have known not to come into work today. Get out of here. An empty can of paint. Looks like they're freshening up this room. Detective, there you are. Hello. Wondering how I knew your name? That's not my name. I said job. I was just on the sh- Because I am Madame LeMag, Twin Lakes' finest psychic. Huh. A skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody. Your partner, Peter Donnelly. His name is Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. And again, I was just on the show. Fine, I saw your plea on TV in my boss's office. But I am a psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the other side. Okay, what is this place? I can't tell you. I have to bring to you. Let's go then. We can't. We can't? We can't. Not yet. My stuff is still locked inside the storage room. Okay, let's get it and go. Uh, I left my key in the dressing room and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? I'll tell you what. You get my stuff and I'll meet you out by your... Hold on. I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously, I'm a police officer. Super! See you there with my back. Ciao! Okay. Do you think these are made out of real stardust? You know that's unlikely, right? I'm still taking it. We got the superstar. It's a dangerously sharp star. On. I guess I can't enter. Let's do it anyways. Knock, knock. Nobody's there. Go oh, away. No stars here. I've downsized the staff into one room so I could have an unsweet. Oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Huh? A moment ago when we spoke, you said, This is a different person, detective. Oh, 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 shit. Centerpiece of my psychic's arsenal. Sure, people want their cards read, but they want to see a crystal ball. That crystal is me light. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. They write to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course. Never work for free. Aren't they divine, my fans? The ball heads. They care for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. Can I get this person's name and address, please? That's me with my ball heads at the last year's Psycon. I signed so many balls that day. Harry, Harry balls, too. That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, bitch! That's for employees only. Flowers from the station manager to welcome me to the new job. Welcome, new employee. It's the personal touch that I appreciate. What a colorful range of makeup you have there. Sadly, I share this room with anyone going on TV, from presenters to clowns. Ugh. Clowns. I know. They should treat a star like me with real respect. Well, 
what else we got in here? What the fuck is a digger a do? Oh look, a digger girl don't mind if I do. It's a wind instrument of the Aboriginal people. Hello, are you a fan? I cannot see. No ball on your head. Sorry, can't talk. Getting ready for my new show and don't have time for non-fans. Okay, this chick sucks. It's empty. In case of fire, burn. Fine here, please. Um, sure. Thanks, enjoy your delivery. Oh. Okay. A box addressed to the Mystic Mystique. There's an interesting clinky from inside, but it's taped up too tightly to check its contents. Well, I got the super sharp star. Huh. It's a federal offense to open somebody else's mail. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? We got some glass bowls, baby. Boom shakalaka. Oh, you're new? Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. My name's... N oh, that's a chick. Her name's Nur. Guess I can go now. Or not. <laughs> Stay here. This plant is called the Wilting Tony. So yeah, when I voice act the whole game, expect mistakes and inconsistencies. Plenty. Especially because it's going to be a secret, but this is going to be a drunk let's play. A bit. I have nothing funny to say about this. The Blood Wolves, what are you doing here? We saw you on TV. We're here to do a help. How did it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. Who did that in the car? The kidnapping her? For interrogation? Can I waterboard her? She's a psychic. She says she can help find Uli. I just have to get some stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? I like what you're doing to call, but if you wanted it bashed up professionally, you only had to ask. Sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager thing you were doing. It's mostly brooding these days, which upside down is an easy hobby to bring anywhere. Mom and Dad said I'm no... Sorry, Dot? You mean Dad? I prefer the consistency of Mom and Dot. They wanted to know if... You have police clearance for minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what courses you have done for minding kids. Do I need to ring them or something? No, they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended by them. Also, what's an incompetent? Is it your police rank? Blood Wolves assembled! We're right here. I'm good. Okay, who wants to earn their espionage badge? All of us, obviously. I need you to put these on your heads. Go in there and pretend to be a type of fan called a ballhead to lure out the new psychic. Insist on seeing her. Say you want autographs or some shit. Just get this bitch to... Just get her there and don't let her leave. You understand? Sorry. I watch my language around these kids. Probably. got the kids on a mission. It's a bag of nuts. Devin dropped a snack. Stripped of all its glory, now it's just motel. Parking space for one. A few palm trees does not make this Sunset Boulevard. Number two news outlet in town. Impressive since it's the only outlet in town. We 
We're here to see the queen or something. She cures bald heads. No, guys, we're bald heads. Mystic Mystique's fans. Can we see her, please? We want her to sign her stupid heads. 100% no. Not gonna happen. My fans. I adore my fans. Alright. The ball heads are here. Should we stop them? Even if we wanted to, blood wolves are unstoppable. She didn't see this coming. The nuts fit perfectly. I might not be able to play this thing, but I can sure use it like an oversized blowgun. I have the nut cannon. Here goes nothing. Boom! Shakalaka. Squirrel reluctantly eats my nuts. So what's eight minus three? Correct. Did you get that, Marv? Got it. About time. That's us for today, then, folks. This has been Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, getting you up to the start of your day. And we're wrapped. Let's clear the stage. Right, what's in here then? Hmm, looks like a bag. I guess this is what she wants. Her go bag. This looks like an older model of the one out in the studio. My adoring fans, what a lovely surprise. How did we surprise a psychic, eh? I mean, what a lovely surprise for you that I could make the time to see you, which was easy to do, as I knew it was happening. Here you go. Okay, super. Now let's get out of here quickly. Uh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so where are we going? I'm in a car with two hot bitches. Look, I know you think that it's all kind of supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. Some of it is, but it's presentation showmanship. Between Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. Anyway, there's a place some of us know that lets us harness this power to talk to people on the other side. In this place, it can help me get Dooley back? All I can do is help you find him. You'll have to bring him back by yourself. I can do that. I just need to know where he is first. This is it! The switchboard! Hmm. I didn't have as many demolition in progress signs last time I was here. That doesn't bode well. There's a note from the city saying that due to advancements in technology, people will no longer need to speak to one another. Interesting. I'm much in here, just release tape. Block off the entrance with it. By the power invested in me, I declare this site off limits. Franchised in spooktures to solve mysteries my way, but all this abuse of police power makes me think it'd go a whole lot easier if I just joined the force. Everybody out! 
Guess it's time for tea. I'll get the kettle out. Can I help you, detective? Maybe. I need to look around for some more first. This tea is so strong and it stains some boromine rings on the table. That's nothing. Gary was staying a, a Sephiroth onto some architectural plans and summon an angel. Have you ever tried to get a safety hat onto an angel? They're all eyes and wings and spinning rings. Hats don't come in on those sizes. I like it. It's cozy with an S. Pictures my kids drew for me. I stick them up around the place, but that would be a fire hazard, so I keep them in this neat pot. A list of health and safety violations you've committed since you got here. We bought some time, but this place isn't going to stay standing for long. Alright, so I had to reload because we almost missed an achievement. You should be here, three of you, and not a hard hat in sight. What would you do if a girder fell on your head right now? The you sue the city, that's what. Do you think Twin Lakes can afford a lawsuit? It can't even afford lawyers. You should see the clowns in the legal department. So destroying this place? Oh yeah, coming down today, crash bang into the earth in a terribly destructive fashion. <laughs> don't mind saying it's gonna look pretty damn cool. Eh, uh, what was that? So we get the uh, ghost achievement there, or eye for detail. What? Where what? Okay, now we got to get these guys out of here, so... I accidentally took a geology course instead of Geomancy last semester. Let's get some of the guys out. Now we can go in here without them here. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is you can't have multiple saves, so there's no way to load back just 5, 10, 15 minutes ago. You can't do multiple saves, so you're just kind of stuck restarting the whole thing if you miss something. But luckily, these cases aren't super long. This place doesn't look like it's going to be standing for too much longer. This is the device, but they seem to have torn it apart. The wires are gone. They needed to make the connection between this world and that. There should be a dark side phone book so we know who to call. Without a transceiver, you've no way to send or receive messages. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. Can you tell me where to find them? Ah, oh, look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go do some detectiving, yeah? Just a bunch of tools, then. Oh, what's this? It's a sketchy address. A hastily written address down at one of the piers. I wonder what this connects with. The receiving dish scoops up all noise in the area and pauses it into calls and secret messages. Broadcasting antenna blinks out the signal in Morris Cook. As a science person, I can attest to the correctness of this technology. Did you see that? That was definite ghost activity. I don't think we need to worry about whether the power has been flipped off or not.
see you've already stripped some of the materials from here. We need to trace that stuff for investigation. Do you have a record of where it's gone? Sir, I have a manifest of what's been taken and where we send it on to. Here you go, motherfucker. I wonder if the item scratched off the manifest can be found at this mysterious address. Only one way to find out. Let's mark it on the map. I can see a lot of wandering in the city in your future, so I'm just going to wait here and make sure they don't tear this place down until you're done. So, where to begin the search? How about the auction house? It's creepy looking statues. Is it just me or does this look... Looking at this make you feel like you're in another dimension. The bubbles, they're so round. So many dimensions. Moldy sandwiches, half-eaten hot dogs, rock-hard poage. Get all your festering food needs met here. Twin Lakes finest purveyor of gone-off food. Is that a thing? A thing people want? People at auction houses like old things. Why not old food? I serve gourmet food sourced locally from bins of Twin Lakes, finest restaurants, at a fraction of the price. Here, try some stale pizza crust on the house. Uh, thanks? Alright, we're here at Yog Sotho with the Bees. Yog Sotho with the Bees. That's Yog Soth is, of course, a Cthulhu. One of the elder gods of Cthulhu mythos. For those that are not familiar. In fact, to give you a bit of background on Yog Sothoth, he's a cosmic entity and an outer god born of the nameless mist. He is the progenitor of Cthulhu Hastu and the unspeakable and the ancestor of Vormi. He is also the father of Wilbert Watley who's one of the characters in H.P. Lovecraft's books and also many of the board games. I did not know that. It's very interesting. Anyways, a little Cthulhu lore there for you. Alright, we got some stale pizza. Let's go ahead and let's... Uh, the so how much for this Faberg acorn? Let me see. Wow, the coloring, the fine detail, the... Wait a second. It's fake. We had the wrong number of scales painted on the cupola. Oh, I can fix that. Not a problem. I'll just add a few more. There's already too many. Yep, yep, of course. Remove a few. I hear ya. I know it's a fake now. I'm not buying a fake even if it looks good. Ah, oh, lady, you're killing me here. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Very fair. You can't buy from me. I got you. Now, uh, uh my twin, identical and always bald, that he's got a fake, a uh, uh, real mustache. Can you buy it from him? Please leave. Ah, uh, what a load of rubbish. Into the trash with this. Just gonna trash that, we might as well take it. Do you always take stuff from the trash? Oh, yes. Most of it's not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum, and old receipts in here. Oh, I'm banned from all the good dry cleaners. Fabergé acorn. I guess that just means a fake acorn. Look at all this cool shit in here. This claims to be the horned skull of an imp. The world's first ever trophy awarded to the artist for trophy making. Sawn from a stone in England. That explains the missing tip. I never noticed it before, but you look a bit like Caesar. Et tu, Roxé? I don't know if her name's Roxa. Roxa, probably. Et tu, Roxa? Raxa? I like Raxa. It's probably Raxa. 
Apply to face for possession. This soul jar contains seven souls, one of which is very good and two are very bad. Wait a minute, what? Seven souls, one of which, okay. What about the other four? That sure is a painting. It sure is, whatever it's meant to be, it sure looks like it. This painting looks like us, but in some green foggy place. I wouldn't stare at that for too long. That looks like a book we need. It has the confusing scribbles of a dark side artifact. There's no way I can just take this thing with all the security. I guess I'll need to find something to swap it with. Even a few pages would be enough. The, th the thing some people try to sell us with were some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me homemade clay urn with trade markings. Damn it, McKay. Another tried to give us a grimy computer thing that belonged to a lake monster. Damn it, Dooley. And another tried to sell us a bald cap and fungal beard thing that was from another dimension. Damn it, me! Right. Well, we don't have what we need here right now, so let's hit the squad car. We go to Pier 13. Let's see, why would somebody have a hidden address for this place? Probably to do with the secret black market that's here. The what now? Now you know me, Vince. I'm the last regular human person to have an opinion or agenda. We just jumbo jet met! Heh, <laughs> where would I even get one of those things at the perfectly normal human college I went to? No, 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 that's not the kind of bay human guy I am. But animals should be left to roam freely, don't you think? Free to wander the streets for hungry bears to eat. Why, that's the natural order of things. Small, juicy animals at the bottom, normal two-legged, two-armed, purpose people like us in the middle, and the majestic bear at the top, eating whatever the fuck they want, carefree and with no fear of retribution. But what about humans like you and me, you cry, over tedious, not bare life is empty, save for my tasty little pal to keep me company. Hey! And that vents is where my animal robots come in. Programmed with all the love and affection you can want, but without the bad behavior, toilet manners, and inaccessibility to hungry, hungry bears. It's a win-win-win situation, really. What can I do for you? Need a robotic roomie, a mechanical mate, or a cybernetic hunting hound? We accept cash card, check, meat, of course, berries, honey in all forms, and porridge. But only if the temperature is just right. Alright, ladies. Welcome to Mark's IT. For all your not too hard to fix IT jobs, black market, speakeasy, and steakhouse out back. What was that last bit? Oh, I had nothing, just my pleurisy acting up. Poor guy looks angry. Probably out of work thanks to those robots. Now this little monkey man would love a new home, don't you think? When his kind evolve and take over the planet, you'll be glad to have one of them on your side. A pair of love birds, all the joy of seeing two birds programmed to be in love. None of the pesky emotions are clean up. Don't touch that. You'll turn the entire pier, of course. Just one of very cutting edge pieces of tech we sell here. Like the look of that? It's on special offer today. What's the offer? It's a you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours kind of thing. Go on. Well, I can see you're wearing a TLTV visitor's badge. I saw you on TV earlier, advertising something sad. Anyway, I want some TV time like that for my business, so I recorded an advert. You use your media connections and get this aired, and the unspecified foreign tech is yours. <sighs> See what I can do. Cool. My whereabouts on the back do you want scratched? I need the lower back done, please. It's been annoying me for ages, and my arm just can't reach. <laughs> Alright, we 
got the VHS tape. It's a golden brownish stone. Honey stone. Maybe the bear will like some honey stone. Why, why would you offer this delicious looking honey stone to me? A normal person with no strong affinity towards honey. I'm not sure yet, but my gut says I should swap it with something you have. Like what? I don't know. Let me see. You an animal person? I have a cat. Well, a cat won't kill robotic birds. Take them home. Fill your apartment with the emotionless joys of fake pets. They're like fake plants, but even less rewarding. Thanks. Ah. Oh. Sweet and soft golden honey stone, bringing back entirely bear-free memories of my youth. Excuse me, is this the way to the secret black market? Well, it depends whether you know the password or not. The password? Oh, you do know it. Welcome, friend, and you go and enjoy yourself. And remember, no cops, it's the law. Well, this is it, Detective. The Twin Lakes Black Market. Huh. What did I get myself into? The transceiver. You bought it. What did you pay for it? Also, give it to me. Ah, no way. Police don't have power here. The black market is like neutral territory. That's definitely not true. I'm pretty sure it is. This is like neutral territory, but neutral in the sense that it is pro-me and anti-you. You fuck off now. You hear four hour, you go now. Let's see. All Capricorns are in debt, sorry. Don't touch that. For perfectly safe reasons, you won't get me arrested. Want to buy gold-plated cat? You took a monkey paw with you? Of course, how do you get rid of curse if not passing it on? Unrerated, can I interest you in the entirely curse-free wish-granting charm, young lady? How about a curse are we talking here? Raxa! Are those banned books? If I am showing them, they're regal. That's the law! Bun in the coven? What to expect when you're witch-specting? Workplace occulture? Turn your cabal into a summoning safe space in the Book of Unsympathetic Magic? You did this to yourself. You sound pretty suspect to me. Yeah, but you got. You paid to find things to be suspicious about. Yes, we are, and I'm damn good at it. Quiet, your fleshy world. Whole Zoltar is about to dispense some powerful fucking wisdom. Your cat has too many eyes. Uh. <laughs> your lucky number is Tractor. It is also your pin number. Shh. <laughs> your lucky number is Tractor. We're just doing this for an achievement. you're wearing boots because you're gonna stub your toe today. Who would want a misfortune like these? Who's your target audience? I don't know, masochist! There's a leak in your apartment. The cook this cookie was made in an unclean factory. You have lice now. Toes aren't free, you know! If you had done the lottery last week, you would have won. Your numbers came up. Your parents are not proud of your career choice. They tell their friends you work as a delivery driver. <laughs> Brown is not a good color for you. Your cat has too many eyes. <laughs> That's a fucking great one. Uh, come on, give us something new. <laughs> A 
I hope you're wearing boots because you're gonna stub your toe today. this guy. Completely random what you get, so. Likes that lucky number tractor shit. Alright, we finally got it. It was, but Wisdom Seeker is the achievement we were waiting to get. It's one of the missable achievements for this. Let's go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Let's head to the junkyard. Says beware, the when the dogs are scratched out and they've written animals. I have a good feeling about that. Yeah. Oh no, long coat back again. Too smelly in pockets. No, no, like. These guys, I thought they were locked away. No way, these are gremlins? But for real, as in everything they touch breaks? That's them. Dooley and I locked them away safely in a magic urn in the station, though. Not sure how they got out here. A half used can of salt. Soon to be a fully used can. Pull, pull, buzz, buzz. No feel fingers no more. Still breaking every machine you touch, I see. Stay away, sticky fingers. Grab no go in pants again. Would it help any if I said he was unconscious at the time? Bleep, 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 bleep. Make like noise machine. Bleep, bleep. I bet one matching pair of socks and this will find its way into my local laundrettes inside of the next seven days. Who owns a pair of matching socks? All my socks match. If I end up with a stray sock, it goes into the naughty bag. Matching socks are like the front of cereal packets. It's a serving suggestion. I hope you find Uli soon. This partnership is never going to work out. Hey! I wonder what happened to that. There's a family of raccoons in here. They do not seem happy to see us. Smell food! Poo poo! Pull it out! I think they're hungry. I wonder if I can fetter a horse's ghost to this and get it running again. Look! There are the wires! Shit. Oh no, they're gonna get crushed. We need to stop this machine. This should lure the gremlins out here. Now to figure out a way to grab those wires. Not so fast. That's cheating. Get those back, bitch. Nah, -uh, I'm sick of these boys breaking my machines. If you want these wires, you'll need to find me some stronger tech to power all this. Hmm. Stronger tech, you say? Carton of spoiled food. Do those gremlins have their shots? The old one might have tetanus now, if not. Junior is playing with a joy child, but it seems the screen is broken. There's only one sound coming from it now. Let me grab this shit. It's basically a Game Boy. Great tunes, though. If you don't find a use for it, I'm taking it as a shower radio.
I bet Mark's into this. Can you fix this? Yeah! Looks like a discombobulator that's been shaken loose. I just have to reattach it like this. Here you go. Thanks. How much for the repair? It's free to an old timer like you. I like to do charity work for the elderly, so you know, when it's my time to join their ranks, they vote me in. Vote you in? Yep. You hit retirement age and either they accept you or you're Logan's run. Anyway, put in a good word for me, okay? I'm not that... You know what? Thanks. Tiny hammer. Q, 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 Q. Cookie shop. Secondhand hands that run like new. Our dedicated necrologist to work the graveyard shift to meet your needs organically. Oh my god. OMG, I'm going to be late, late, late. But do I care? I do not. I want those cookies and I want them bad, baby. Got a sinister looking sign. Time. Ah, the name's Charlie, and I like hanging out. Want to go skydiving? Invite your old pal Charlie. Need a buddy for a dangerous climb? Charlie's your man. Want to race down the wrong side of the highway and stare death in the eyes? Charlie is it. So want to do something? We can't. We're in the middle of something. Sorry. Oh man. Nobody wants to hang out with old Charlie. I'm so bored. I wish I had something fun to do while I wait for somebody to want to hang with me. Here, have this. Take this. It should keep you entertained until something better comes along. Whoa, we. This is a chipper, we fella. How can I repay you? You could help us move this pen. Consider it done. In about four seconds when it's actually done. There. It's done now. Playing with my fucking game, baby. I should be able to wriggle through. I'll stay out here and keep watch. Well, that's a better excuse than Dooley usually gives. It's not an excuse. I'm being helpful. I'm suspicious. What the hell is going on here? I'm no pats here, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. There's two parents shitting into a vat and fucking cookies are popping out. What the fuck? Model the fuck off. Mm, the cookies. I should take some back to the folks in the forensics lab. I say knowing we have no forensics lab. See had cookies. They seem like normal cookies, it's a little more moist. Like a sea hag's twat. Boxes of ingredients conveniently stacked up for an easy escape route. These look like Lovebirds, I think they're screeching beautiful tunes at one another. Seems to be full of some liquid that's coming from the pipes above. They are pumping them out at a pretty high volume. This shit is strange. Haha, <laughs> Secret Laboratory is working so well. We're gonna be Cagillionaires! I love it so much, I would literally eat anyone who found out about it. I probably shouldn't go that way. Alright, this guy wants some cookies. Here you go. Are these what you're looking for? Oh, sweet divine! How did you get these and what do you want for them? I have to hang up some paintings. Can I borrow your tiny hammer? I shouldn't give this out, but I have a powerful need for cookies. Sure thing, just don't go pretending to be an auctioneer or something. You'll find yourself in over your head. It's an auction gavel. Wrong way.
Color up our birds here. A slap of this, a dash of that. We'll have these bots looking real in no time. Got some beautifully painted birds. Oh my. Now we gotta go all the way back. To Pier 13. And back to the bakery. Okay, be free, you little lovebirds. In you go, robotic doubles. Mine's gone. How are the cookies? Oh lord, it's like eating ambrosia. The nectar of the gods is in my mouth. I'm so happy. You! I thought we wanted this place against people like you! By which I mean you, only you. All right, what do we want to say here? I did the thing. I can see everyone's so miserable. That's my target audience, though, so sales off to the roof. Oh, cheer up, your frown is ruining. It's ruining? Yeah, just ruining, a general ruiner, I hate it. Smile, get the fuck out. Go try frowning underwear. I mean, for what it's worth, Detective, what those kids were at is far worse than this. I guess. Anyway, deal a deal. Heal your transceiver. Enjoy transceiving. Who sold you that transceiver? Not saying what kind of black market occult dealer would I be if I ratted out every person buying curses, voodoo dolls, or frying cauldrons. My business would crumble if people thought there was no confidentiality. Is it a guy dressed as a builder? What's your builder? Who sold you this misfortune cookies? Cookies are for a more pessimistic punter. Best eating a glass of milk that's half empty. What happened to your shop? Burned down mysteriously after your visit, but coincidentally before the cops you sent to search the place had arrived. The universe is pretty random, right? Goodbye. Good readings, more like. Not another one. Look, the auction isn't happening until the auctioneer is back. Back from where? I don't know. I think you went to one of the piers to get cookies or some shit. Some equally rubbish bullshit. Look, I am the auctioneer. What's this? The auctioneer hammer, dipshit. My auctioneer hammer. Yours? Mine. I have the coat, the hammer, the fast-talking skills needed to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. I can't say I'm entirely convinced, but there are old things to sell in rich people to appease. If we don't help them get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people shit, like hunting the poor, doing unwanted missionary work, or worse, becoming landlords. We're doing God's work. An installation manual for old Soviet tech. It says you only need two installation tools, a hammer and a sickle. I have to imagine that the screwdriver would be handy too. Hello! It has some beautiful notes carved into it. You should take it. What? Take it? When are we going to get into a place like this again? Don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights when you mend old socks? Hey! You could look at this and think, I've seen how the other half lives. That's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime, but something tells me that this will come in useful later. So you get your wish. Yay! At least until I find a use for it. Then I'm sending it back here. Wait, you're not just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it? What? No, that's littering. I send it back to wherever it comes from. That's as noble as it is lame. Thanks. Great representation of an angel creeping up behind a man or carrying his books for him. Read the Bible, detective. Angels were always sneaking up on people to give them books. A never-emptying jug. 
Wow, why is this in the back room and not on sale? Well, by the smell of it, whatever it never empties of is both useless and disgusting. This looks like a box of pants from a house move that somehow got mixed up with the rest of the shit. Are the pants famous at least? Did they straddle the well-known butt maybe? I don't believe so, no. Aww. Somebody is trying to hawk this stuff online. The ad says some really good shit here. Don't out yourself as an uncultured swine by asking for details or haggling though. Crazy. Back to the TV station. Can you give this into Mar for me to get it on air? Sure thing. I'm just gonna put this in the inbox basket. <laughs> Looks like a fucking garbage can. Whoa! Crazy squirrel. Is that the man? He will no pass on your videotape. But I will help you. Is your handler gone? She was not my Anna. She was my date. But now I have disposed of her. I sent her home with the cab fare. I am the gentle squares, no? Nope. Why are you still here? Why do you want to help me? They humiliate me. They make me count like the performing monkey. I will steal back your video and meet you in the control room. Viva la resistance! What the fuck is going on here? Alright, well, we got a squirrel on our side now, apparently. Knock, knock. Come in. Smart. Remove the extra scales Pete drew on this. Now it's a real Fabergé acorn. What's all this? I've been trying to write a TV script about a cop who solves spooky crimes, but a main character is just so boring. He's got the tape. He's pointing at Marv. I guess we just need to distract him. So, uh, how are things, Marv? Things are out of quick. Thanks for asking. You have uh, time to talk? Oh no, gotta head it down this morning. Show station manager wants more fun squirrel and less sad policeman. Sorry. Nice acorn collection. Thanks, I've been gathering them for a while now. They're my pride and joy. I keep them locked away in this very secure display case that I never open, save to add new acorns. Check this out. 11, 12, 13. This is perfect. Where did you find it? I found it in an attic on a case. And want it? Sure. I'll just unlock my cabinet to put it in right now. Aha, now is the time. Shit. Is that green smoke? <laughs> what the f... Oh no, Marv, that squirrel. He robbed your acorn collection. I had no idea. Relax, Detective. I recognize him the moment he turned up for filming today. What? You don't collect Fabergé acorns and not know who Merle the Squirrel is. He's a master squirrel burglar. As soon as I saw him this morning, I knew he was here for the cursed acorn I had just picked up. I had to act fast. I rang my brother-in-law. A shady guy named Pete. I know him. His kid came over with some friends, and while they caused a scene, I slipped her I slipped to the acorn to get it off sight. Damn it, Emily. They met up once she was safely away from here. Her dad made the acorn look fake and tried to sell it to the auction house, which I happened to know Merle was casing. So he'd know there was a fake on the scene. Precisely. So when you showed up, he took all the fake locked away acorns and ignored the real one that I had. Bingo! By the time he realized what happened, it'll be too late. I've gotten this thing away to safety.
For all that, he didn't even put the ad on the air. I uh, can just put that on for you. You do that for me? We went to school together, of course I would. Oh, thanks. Also, it's public access. We kind of have to show any crap. Give it to us. Sounds good to me. Hey, Mark. Got some Soviet shit. I am on TV. Quickly, take this so I can watch myself. How does this work? What even is it? Where can I find the instructions? No idea. It's old tech. I'm almost old enough to be in a museum or the likes. Now hush, I'm on TV. Oh, we got a manual for it. We just got to bring him to the lady in the junkyard. I can't tell if this is an instruction manual or a communist manifesto. Same, same. lady wanted. I have something for you. My side isn't what it used to be. Come up to the door and show me. Have the stuff you want. New technology and instructions on how to install it. Okay, okay, you can come in. Here you go. Super. Here are your wires, comrade. What did you call me? Constable. Huh? Fish that out of a whale's belly. How it got in there, I don't know. How I got in there is also a mystery to me. I have similar markings to the pages I need to replace. Mind if I take them? Why not? I have piles of that shit. Gremlin art. strong and stain some boromine rings onto the table. <clears throat> if we dunk this in here, that should brown and curl the pages so they look nice and old. Now we got something for the auction house. Okay, let's kick off this sloppy robbery. What? Nothing. Auction time. Welcome, innies and outies. Today we have this fine antique occult book of sigils or whatever y'all think this shit is. Can I get an opening bid? What's a good opening bid? Five. Can I get five? Rax, has swapped the pages while I carry this on. On it. Five. Five hundred. Five hundred. Five and fuck. Fuck. Hip, 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 hip. Six. You can't go backwards. That's the rule, right? No, oh, 600. Christ. Okay, okay, pull it together, me. Right, I have 600. I want 700. Can I get 700? Any bids on 700? I. I or 8. I. I'm done, detective. Sold! To the woman with the expressionless face for I. What is this nonsense? That's not how this works. I'm not even sure how much I owe. You lot getting rowdy. Do I need to use my gun? I still don't know what I owe. It worked. Good job. Let's get the fuck out of here. What about all the other auctions you have to do today? Oh, I, I, I quit. Bye. Fuck that job. Here's the transceiver. I don't know what this does. Science, pseudoscience. One of those doesn't work without it, though. 
I got these. Super. Those symbols are like phone numbers. We have to work through them until we get through to your friend. I think I might be able to use this loom to unravel these wires. Worst case, we can play a fancy tune. Looms are a weaving tool, not an instrument. Tell that to Bob and Threadbear. Whoa. We gotta just move these wires between the free nodes to untangle them so they're usable. Some parts of this adventure are less thrilling than others. It's blocked by the wire on the top. We need to unravel them in order. Ah, it's like a slider puzzle. That's the one rabbit. Now I know what to do next time. My headphone wires get wrapped. Where do these go? Oh, stick them anywhere. You can move them in the mini game. I mean later. All right. That's everything. Time to try calling Dooley. Now what do I do? See those shapes? They're numbers, like phone numbers, so start dialing. What? That's it? What if he's not at one of those numbers I have? You're thinking too normal. He'll be at one of them. How can you be so sure? I peeked at the design document for this case, so trust me. Okay, here goes. So we basically gotta make this picture here. Uh, we gotta get... Looks like this long one up here, so let's do this, let's do this. Right, let's get this the fuck out of the way. This isn't too bad, right? Um, shit. Let's do this, uh, this little number over here. That's too short. Yeah, baby, yeah. Shit, that looks right to me. Yeah, darling. Excuse me, is there a man in a police uniform there? Yeah, of course. And an army man, biker, construction worker, cowboy, and a Native American man. I don't think this is the right number. This is always the right number, darling. Organized and rigid. This one makes me feel uneasy. A large H H for home or headquarters. H for healing crystals. Or for a horrendous horse hospital. It's like a smiling face. A disconnected looking glyph. Let's try this one. Hello! Dooley! Did it tag to you? Is that you? Yes, Dooley, it's me. Where are you? I hear music. I'm not sure. Everything's different here. It's so cold. Oh, Dooley. Ah, it's my own fault. I should have worn a jacket. Tell me what you see, Dooley, and we'll get you home. Well, I can't see any water from here, so I guess I'm inland a bit. Sorry, Detective. Geography here's a little messed up. Dooley, I can see it, and there's a me. Dooley, you're breaking up. And he and you port me soon. Bah. Dooley, Dooley. He's gone, Detective. I took down everything he said. Maybe we can use that to find him. Yeah, okay, yeah. I got a map of the city in my apartment we can use. Let's go. I'm coming with. Now you want to come with? Well, yes. Now it's getting interesting. Alright, 
We got Dooley's clues. We head back to my apartment and find Dooley. Well, this is it. Okay, let's get to work. Yeah. So what's the plan? Well, I found a ritual that can get him back. If I know where he is, we have the clues. We just have to figure it out and gather the ritual components. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Odds and ends and ends from the office. Nothing to see there. What's this? I said nothing to see. Office Halloween party. Well, I like it. We won second place. Well, I think you were right. We were. McKean won first place by going as himself because the likeness was uncanny. A bag of Dooley's old clothes that I grabbed from his gym locker. Gonna need these. Dooley's gym bag. What's that smell? I was worried washing his clothes might weaken the wick. I have chalk in my pocket for the ritual. I'm gonna need these for the ritual. Right, let's cross-reference what Dooley said with my map and see if we can locate him. This is all the info I have on the city. I just have to find some place that matches what I know about where Dooley was. We have three clues. If we cross-reference them with all this, we should find them. Yes, slow and steady should do it. We'll scratch off everywhere he is in and see what's left. Easy. Bates Motel. The Carnival. The retirement home, Shifty Acres. Switchboard. Bells, bashful bells, bareness, banishment, barroom. The campsite. Chinatown! A place in city where no Chinese citizens. Lone Lake Mall. The library. The graveyard. The Ghouli household. Pier 13. Don's Mansion. The TLPD. The laundry map. The pair of clues. That matches. I think we found him. He's outside this building. He's been... He's been waiting outside for me to find him? Well, you found him. Let's go get him back. Yeah. To the roof! Various things I managed to take from the Dark Side Division before Chief Scully had it all sealed up. Is that a copy of Ripley's Casted or not? It is. It's where I found the ritual that will bring Dooley back. How does it work? Well, dark side portals are usually anchored. The portal from here will always go to the same place on the dark side. Usually, but not always. The here's location mirrors there. But this ritual, it opens more of a vacuum than a portal. You point it to a place, give it a signature to lock onto, and it sucks them back. Great find. Now let's figure out where he is and cast him. Yeah. It's gonna work, Detective. Thanks. Stop messing with my Halloween shit. This will do. We can perform the ritual here. We just place these here. I have a lighter. Great. Draw this here. That goes there. Et voila! We put the bag here. That's everything. Now, see what happens. Wind is picking up. There's a lot of psychic energy. And I'm not even making that up this time. I think it's working. 
Detective, it worked. Does anyone have something to eat? I'm starving. It definitely worked. What was it like? Nobody's ever spent that long over there before. It was fine, hard to get around. Terrible public transport. Trains are always on time, so I kept missing them. I'm just glad to be home. Thanks, Detective. I knew you'd find a way. Thanks. Sorry it took so long. Detective? Yeah. What's a prawn folder? Meanwhile... Case closed. You answered the call, baby. Thank you for watching. Darkside Detective Case 1 Solved will see you soon for more Rockstock Tober 2022. <laughs>